we're in our kitchen for our recipe of the day. Yes, and Chef Josh Charles is back with a recipe for corn and zucchini fritters. Yes, perfect uh, summer appetizer for everyone. So really quickly, we're just gonna go straight to it. We've got fresh sweet corn, a little bit of zucchini, one egg, and then I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon or two of flour to this, oh. just to kind of help bind it. I've also got a little bit of salt and pepper in there. I was gonna say a little bit of seasoning, but otherwise pretty simple ingredients. Exactly. This is um, something that's super easy to make up. And then basically, once you get that mix made, it's gonna be a little bit wet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually drop it into a hot pan. Okay. A little bit, a little bit of oil <laughs> to make sure that it doesn't stick. So are and we then, frying this? Yeah, basically this is pan fried, okay. shallow frying. Um, so you want a nice layer of oil in there. But it doesn't have to cover everything. It doesn't need to okay. cover. So if you covered it completely, then it would be deep frying. Oh, got it, okay. But at this point, we're just gonna be pan frying. And what you'll do is cook these for about two to three minutes on each side, give them a flip, mm. and then serve them with, uh, I have a basil and lime aioli. Oh that, my god, That looks really good. Now, I, I would be concerned this would fall apart. What's the, is the egg enough of a binding agent in there? Yeah, so the egg and the flour together are gonna create kind of like a paste. And once you get that uh, pan, once you get it in the pan, it's gonna create like a crust. Okay. It'll now, make it super easy. I know you're a healthy guy. Like, would a typical recipe have breading in it or, you know, anything like that? Why are you laughing? It's true. <laughs> that's so good. I, that's a compliment. I did, I did use gluten free flour in this. Okay. Uh, you can find a lot of really good, great blends in the supermarket. Um, and I just prefer them because they don't have the processed wheat in them. Okay. So, what does it have instead of wheat then? Uh, usually, like chickpea flour, rice oh. flour, more whole ingredients. Um, and, preferably for me, uh, better ones that I like. Okay, uh, we didn't go over, how did you get the zucchini to look just like that? I mean, that's so, it's so perfect, the pieces. So the zucchini, I actually took a box grater. What? You know, like you would cheese, yeah. and I just put it through there really quick. Um, and it's it's kind of a chef's secret. Okay. Oh. Zucchini, carrots, carrot cake, all that stuff. Box grater works perfect. Okay, and this time of year, you don't want to be using frozen corn for this. You want to take advantage. Exactly. Right now, since the corn is in season, it's great raw. Raw? Yes, so we didn't cook this at all. So it's Before just, we did that. just being cooked in the pan. Yep. <gasps> look, at oh, look at that. That's beautiful. It's completely together. So you're calling this an appetizer. You could yeah. put, you could probably put this over a salad or something if you wanted to turn it into something else. What would you do? Uh, personally, I like it just um, as a part of different appetizers, something that you can like snack on and eat. It's handheld. But a great salad, like an arugula salad, tomatoes, Parmesan would be yeah. great as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want all of that. Thank you so much. <laughs> it smells so good. You can find this recipe after the show on YouTube. Just search KCK News or on the Five on Your Side app. For more from Chef Josh, visit chefjoshcharles.com and check out his ready-made meal service at honeyandtimeus.com. Mm.